So we recently had a medical scare with Talon, and let me tell you, it was a scare for both of us. She's okay, and it was nothing life-threatening, but... Could have been. Could have been. Yeah, it could have been, if left untreated. And what are we talking about? Well, we'll tell you right after this. You make me understand this place in a whole different way. the big city of Yukaipa, California when you discovered <laughs> an issue. Well, we did have an issue with Talon and we really weren't sure what was going on. Talon sometimes like licks her paws of some allergies or and or the dust from her food and stuff. So I wasn't really alarmed at first when I noticed that she was licking her paws, but we found out that there is a danger to dogs and cats in the West that we didn't know about. And that is foxtails. You have Not never, real fox. No, <laughs> if you have never heard of foxtails, it is a weed and it looks like a foxtail at the tip of it. And it has a barbed end to it, which causes a burrowing effect if it gets in their paws, in their eyes, ears mouth which are the most common places but they can even be found in like the armpit anywhere um even in their just in their fur and so it's really really important if you are coming out west to protect your pet by knowing the facts and that is where foxtails grow and how to look for them and make sure that you do anytime that you take your pet out now talon is a service dog so she's pretty much close to michael um in most everywhere we go and everything we do which yep she's right below at his feet right now one we didn't know about foxtails when we came out here so uh that was new to us and we still don't know where she got it because she's always close we were at a couple campgrounds though that there were some wooded areas right there and she kind of got near the edge so it could have been for the campgrounds we've been at the last few weeks there wasn't any grass of any kind so. no so <laughs> we think she probably had them there for a little while now here's the other thing talon is an english cream golden retriever so she's got white fur well guess what color foxtails are they're white so she had them in between her paws and we did not know and in fact when we went to the vet they said, oh, it's probably foxtails. They're very, very common in California. I was prepared for that by the time we got in there. However, what we weren't prepared for was how they had to treat her. With foxtails, they went into her paw area and one of them burrowed into the paw. So when we went in, the vet tech was able to go right between her paws and she pulled out a whole bunch. And just one can cause life-threatening issues. And she probably had 25 or 30 by the time that they pulled every one of them out because it's the seed within that that causes a problem. And we had pulled some out just thinking it was just regular grass you know, previously. She was inundated with. One of the common places that they are is in open grassy fields. It's a tall grass so you don't want your pets in the tall grass. There really wasn't anywhere that we could see that, that that's where she was at but from our understanding foxtails can blow and so we could have been in an area where they were right there and kind of blew over to where she was at but you know dogs sniff to go to the bathroom and that's why they're very very common in their noses as well um, and in their eyes and their mouth and so we're very very grateful that you know she didn't get that there are ways to prevent it by keeping them on a leash so you want to always check them every time that they come back in where foxtails commonly are which is california and desert areas um boots are, are a good thing if you're going to be out on a hike the other thing too that um, i read about but we do not have have is it's called Outfox and it's a fabric that it's like a, a screen mesh. We had to take Talon then to the vet once we realized that she had an issue was looking the paw. The paw was really red. We went in. Well um, there was a big when we looked into her paw there was a pretty big. Here, here's the thing you noticed licking and you noticed them limping or walking funny. Talon never walked no. funny. She never limped. She even ran. She ran, she played, she did all the stuff normal. So we didn't have any idea that she even had it in there. So we just ended up going and they said, yeah, she's going in there. So we had to have her sedated and then have the vet go in and probe to get that out. And the hope was that they could find it. And one of the bad things about foxtails is that they can burrow and they can go into the paw and then go up and they can actually infect the bloodstream. You can find lumps and bumps and find out that they've had foxtail in there. They can cause really bad infections. 
and they can even attach themselves to organs and then ultimately you know your dog can have a fatal injury yeah, it's um, rare but the, it, can, it does it does happen unfortunately since we did not know about foxtails we did not know how to protect talon we we want to make sure you knew about it because if you have your pet and you're coming out west you definitely want to protect them so we recommend that you read up on foxtails learn what it looks like we'll include a couple pictures and do what you can that make you feel safe definitely check their paws run a brush through them after a hike or, or when they've been outside and you know if you're worried about it just run a brush through even though town's brush and stuff like that and we do take care of our paws when they look just like the fur it's very hard to tell so now that we know what we're looking for we're checking Absolutely. even more so we're more vigilant has your pet ever gotten in a tangle with foxtails let us know in the comments below um, let us know how it worked out especially if you have any ways or ideas tips or tricks tips or, yeah that's it what tips or tricks about foxtails how to prevent them how to spot them or how to oh and removing them you need to use tweezers if they are in there kind of tight you want to call your vet just don't even try to get them out you want to mm. make sure that the vet takes care of it so you don't leave anything behind um, they're kind of like ticks in a way um, you can remove it with the tweezers but if it's burrowed in there even a little bit you want to make sure that your vet yeah, um, let the professionals out. handle it. Yep, so we appreciate you guys watching this. A little bit more mindful of things now. Hopefully you'll learn a lot and you can help protect your pets if you're out west like we are right now. And if you have any tips or tricks, leave us a note in the comments below. We uh, certainly don't want anybody to have an issue like we did. There's, It is no fun to leave your pet at the vet to be sedated. It was no fun for us and we want to make sure that we can prevent that for you. And if you'd like to help us help Christian Based Veterans Charities, check the description below. There's links to lots of different ways you can help including uh, becoming a YouTube member or Patreon member. We don't keep a dime of the money we make off of our social media platforms. It all goes to a Christian-based veterans charity. If you'd like to help out, we'd really appreciate it. But we'd mostly appreciate your your prayers as we go forth trying to help out these Christian-based charities and um, veterans along our path. Until next time. Make your next journey an epic adventure. See ya. Bye.